how's it going? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Pokemon number 21 and that's Spiro. Now, I got Spiro from CandyPatterns.com description down below. So, we're going to be using some brown, black, pink, orange, light gray wool, white wool, and then just a couple blocks of sand for the beak. So, now let's begin with this little bird by placing three black wools like so. One, two, three. With a white wool. And then on top of this white, we're going to place five black wools towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, after we build something, I'm usually going to take a big step back to get everything in frame. And that way, you guys can hit pause if you need to. Because I'm going to be talking, I wouldn't say fast, but I'm going to be moving at a brisk pace. But have no fear, I'm going to take a step back. So that way, you can shut me up and slow me down by hitting pause. That way, the video doesn't take forever for the people that... Some people didn't complain that I've been going too slow and then some people have been going too fast. So that way you can be the boss by hitting pause whenever you need to. So then we're going to place a black with an orange. And then we're going to do three black wools across the top with one more black wool in the middle. Then on the left of this three black wools, we are going to place four light gray wools. So one, two, three, four. Followed up by two black wools. Then we're going to grab our black and we're going to go one, two, three with a block on the left. Then we're going to grab our white and we're going to go, whoa, that was too fast. <laughs> one, two, three, four and a light gray. To the left of this light gray, we're going to place three black wools with a sand block here. To sand block. That sounded weird. To the right of that sand block. To the right of the sand block, we are going to place four black wools. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. So make sure you guys have this weird looking shape. Once again, it's going to be four black wolves and we're going to go up by three and a block in the middle. Then we're going to go ahead and place four sand blocks. And then two more on the top. We're going to grab our white and we're going to place one, two with a black wool on the top. Right over here. Now let's take a big step back. This is what we have so far. I would recommend this as a little stopping point so you guys can make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Because we don't want to mess up now and then like halfway through the video we realize it then we have to go back and fix it. So this is just to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. And I think it looks alright so let's keep going. We're going to place two black wools on the left and then four black wools going straight up. One, two, three, four. With two black wools on top of those two sands. Now we're going to do his like head basically, this, he has a bunch of feathers here so that's what we're going to be doing. So for that we're going to grab our orange wool, we're going to place one block here and then four on the top, one, two, three, four, pretty easy. Then we're going to place a brown with two black wools and two orange wools on the side with one black on the top and then one, two, three. Whoa three whoa why can't i not place it three and then one in the middle dang that was messy but yeah once again two black wolves two orange with a black on the top and then three black wolves on the side with one little black wool sticking out from the middle all right so then we're gonna grab our orange and we're gonna do a row of five orange wolves now so one two three four five Then we're going to do an orange, a brown, oops, a brown, and then three orange wools. So one, two, three. Once again, it's going to be one orange, one brown, and three orange wools. Then on the top of this brown, we're going to place one orange, one brown, and three black wools.
Then we're going to place a black, an orange, and three black wools surrounding it. And then we're going to place a brown with a black. Now we're going to shift gears for a second and we're going to go back down here. What we're going to do is that we're going to place three pink wools. One, two, three. With three black wools in this shape. Followed up by four pink wools. Then we're going to do one, two, three with our pink wool, just like that, in this little corner. And then two black wools on the side. So it's going to be three pink wools and then two black wools on the side. Then on top of this two black, we're going to place two pinks. And starting right here next to this last black wool, we're going to go up by three black wools and then one more black wool on the top of the pink. Now moving towards the middle, we are going to place one brown and then a black right in the middle. So one brown, one black. Then we're going to place four black wools going towards the right, starting on top of the brown. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do five, one, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, directly on the top. And then we're going to place a brown with five black wools on the right this time. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we got to do its tail so he doesn't look so funny now. He looks really small, so he needs that tail. So give him some presents. Not presents as in Christmas, but like presents in like staged presents. My accent sometimes gets in the way, but whatever. Back to this bird. What we're going to do is that starting right here, we are going to place two brown wools. Then two black wools on this side, two black wools on this side, and two black wools on the top. So let me just stop it here so it's easier to see. Another way you can build it is that right in the last black wool you can place two browns and then two blacks on the left, two blacks on the right, and two blacks on the top. Just make sure that it goes there. And then down here we are going to do brown, black, brown, black. Then we're going to do orange, brown, orange. Then we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to go one, two, three, and a block on top of the orange. Then starting on top of this orange, we're going to go one, two, three. With a brown wool, an orange, and then one more black on the top. And that's going to be its finished tail. Probably one of the hardest parts of the build was just this, because, I don't know, it's kind of busy. But it's actually pretty easy. And there we go, we have finished building our Spiro. The only thing we have left to do, just like the guy on the left, is just to go in there, add the brown wool, and we're going to be completely done. So I would recommend this as a little stopping point so you can see where you need to fill in the brown. I'm going to go fill it in right now, and I'll be back for the end of the video. And there we go, we are done building Pokemon number 21 on the Pokedex Spiro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Tell your friends about us, have yourself a good time, and we'll see you next time.